bro. I have a million dollar question. तू मिर्च नहीं खा रहा? पेट जलता है बट ठीक है। यार I was wondering what do rich people do on a weekend यार? Dubai shopping. Maldives जाते हैं Instagram reels बनाने। I think they eat a lot. Rich people eat a lot. हाँ यार देखो। Rich people go grand touring on a weekend. By the speed of the trees whizzing past my window, and by the speed with which I will whiz past Varun right now <laughs> in his GLC, you can tell that both us boys are on our way to something very interesting that rich men do on weekends, which is grand touring at what? A great many grand touring cars call India their home today. But we seem to have found a pair that belongs to the sweet spot of the country's GT lineup. Crow rupee cars, red wine or white wine. Okay, so let's slow down and let's take a moment and thank real me folks here for letting us play rich kids, rich men on this very weekend. And they were kind enough to also let us have this sleek phone of theirs. It's got a great back, but it's also got a very nice autograph here at the back because these are special phones called Realme GT Master Edition. GT is what interested me the most and GT is, well, what we are doing. Grand Tour Ah! <laughs> But hang on, hang on, hang on. This is an AMG, which means you get raunchier stuff like red seat belts, a black roof line, and Alcantara seats. Now you're expecting, hey, Alcantara seats, AMG, they're supposed to be rigid, stiff, uncomfortable, but honestly, this feels more comfortable. Grand touring happens when you got a good sounding engine like this one. Sounds like a mini GTR. Why? Because it's got 3 litre V6. This flat bottom steering wheel feels like a really premium thing to hold on to. The switch gear feels really premium as well, not just on the driver's side, but on the centre console as well as the co-driver's side too. And of course, you're sitting a little higher in a really comfortable position. The joy of driving a good car on fast roads. It's no autobahn, but it is our very own road uh, from Mumbai, taking us all the way to Sula Wine. As the wide open roads disappeared, we were welcomed by the pristine views of wine country. So, decided to take a break and appreciate the way our grand tourists looked. This car looks so, so good, especially in these photos. On these roads, look at the lines. Look at the colour, it pops out. Oh, looking fast while standing still. <laughs> that is the beauty of a Grand Tourer. The very definition of a Grand Tourer. I'm guessing you would like to drive that. Yes, keys please. Quite like where you put your mud and muck here on the bulbous fastback shape, so I'll take this. By the way, did you know, it says here that the GLC 43 is one of the fastest cars on our roads that's assembled in India. Like one of the fastest phones I have. But all phones claim that, no? Yeah, but this one is Snapdragon 778G 5G. Sixth generation AI. What? Faster than you can think, let's go. The 360 degree screen here is just so wonderful. You don't even need the side view mirrors. The footage from your S5 rear camera feels like I've just rubbed my eyes or had a bottle of wine. Definitely an AMG with the pops and bangs here at the back. It's got more of that hairy chested bravado. Uh, you want to rip the buttons off your shirt, show them some hair and... Braking and oh, it's so good. So uh, dynamically, this is a much more accomplished car. But one of the most important traits of a Grand Tourer has to be the right quality. You would be tempted to think that if there's one car that you want to buy for grand touring in India and want to glide over all the bumps, well then it's not the AMG here, that would be the S5s. 
suspension. I mean, it really is the works. At low speeds, you feel bumpier than what you would in your normal Audi, of course. But as you pick up speed, you realize that it has the potential to gobble up those ridges and bumps so easily. And that is something that I am missing on my AMG. I think the grand touring quotient of good ride quality and comfort here will go to uh, 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 S5. If you are paying big money on the S5 or for the S5, it is going to be for two things. One, the engine and second, the ride quality. Rohan, come in, Rohan. In between all this cattle traffic, we are yet to decide which of these two cars is a better Grand Tourer. Grand Touring in its purest automotive sense means putting behind multitudes of kilometers while having fun and without putting in an effort. So, all of that at the rolling hills of Nasik, which has the highest density of vineyards in the country. You've probably heard of York, Grover, Sula, Zampa, Tasting Room, Ballone, Chateau d'Ori and Soma. Which one do you think is the better Grand Tourer? And don't tell me it's the S5 because you drove it, please, no. Which one is the better looking car? Forget about Grand Tourer. This one, the S5. The more you ask of it, the more it gives you back in terms of power, oodles of torque, just about everything. I think the S5, it's not a hooligan, but it's that what you want. Because you know what, you're gonna stay all your life not speaking a word, like right now, just sipping on the wine, like right now, Mm. and being under the shadows of the GLC 63 Wait, GLC 63 is not available in India and the moment it gets released you're gonna be uh, bringing a 63 here but you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna keep the S5 here looking pretty here because this one unlike yours like you know the normal run-of-the-mill red wine that you'd be drinking this one is a white wine it's got less alcohol less calories it's more sophisticated it's rich in experience and it is the better grand tourer i think whatever you choose either the amg or the s5 i'm sure you're gonna have a really good weekend cyrus cyrus hey Did you really, really think that you could come all the way here without me? Alright guys, thank you so much for watching episode 1 of GT Journeys. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And in case you haven't noticed this yet, Rohan is in love with his new phone. Well, it's, it is because I really feel that it is one of the slimmest phones out there. It's one of the hottest phones out there. It's one of the fastest phones out there. Thanks to, well, the Snapdragon processor. I really like the back here too. Well contoured. Reminds me of some of the high-end luggage bags that we come across. And the fact that it's got a name which has a high badge value in the automotive world, which is GT Grand Touring. And I haven't uh, stopped gaming all day long because it just doesn't skip a beat. Well then, uh, go ahead and get yours on realme.com, Varun. And if you happen to do that, then you are going to be pleasantly surprised by its price. And episode 2 is also on its way, Cyrus with a red Jaguar. Only here on Power Drift. The series is called GT Journeys, presented by Realme. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye.